Look at this redwood motherfucker. What you want? To give you a choice. See, you're in my house, fatso, and you didn't ask permission. So you and your friends can leave now, or they can carry your fat ass out in a bucket. Now I'll count to three. Bitch. Do you know who you're talking to? One. Two. <laughs> Who a pair of glasses? Now get out of my cell. knew what's about to happen to you, you'd leave now. So I give you to the count of three. One. Full of warden seas. Let's go, let's go! Oh shit, that's the guy. You here? Hey, mister, why don't you come here? We want to talk to you. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. Hey, come here. We just want to talk to you. Heard you got arrested for murder. What kind of bullshit you bring into our town? There's two Sixers worth of empties around your car. You've been waiting a while. And since this isn't the most exciting spot in town, I gotta assume you've been waiting for me. Let me guess. Rich guy in a fancy pickup put a 50 in each of your pockets to take care of me? Honored. All right. Well, it's the wrong day to ask me to humor your bullshit. Hey! We're talking to you, man. Oh, Graham, you idiot. You're about to get your ass kicked. No. I'm just gonna break the hands of three drunk kids. <laughs> There's four of us here. One of you's gotta drive to the hospital. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I know where the hospital is. Let's go. No. It's too small. It'll be uncomfortable. Not as uncomfortable as a bullet to the stomach in the hole. Well, the smart move would be to shoot me right here, but you haven't done that yet. Maybe you don't want to draw attention firing outside a crowded bar. Or maybe you have orders to take me to your boss so we can find out how much I know. Whatever it is, it means that when I make my move, you're going to hesitate. And you guys know what Cato said about hesitation, right? He who hesitates... <laughs> Max, 
7. I need backup with the blue cat. Full pursuit of one suspect, second and large. Two dollar bill. Huh? Mailmen have them because the Treasury pawns them off on the post office. The public doesn't like them. Gambling addicts get them in change at the racetrack on account of the standard $2 bet. I don't see a mailbag. Something tells me you wager more than you make and you can use some extra cash. Guilty as charged. You know Tanner Spivey? He was a regular here. He's not gonna tell you anything. Spivey's a friend. And he don't need anyone asking about his business. Find himself another bar. Boxer. Southpaw. Golden gloves. You know the thing about boxing? Too many rules. Where's Spike? You left down. There's some Spanish guys here. Real fast. That's all I know. Looks like a punch list. <laughs> the tire's blown. As soon as I fire, we run in opposite directions. Harder to hit us if we split up. On three. One, two, three. <laughs> You just killed my cousin. Now I'm gonna pinch your skull all over the place.
Thanks. You made them follow you, because you had Joe's note. Yeah, so you'd stay alive. I don't need you looking out for me. I'm a fucking cop. That's some girl who needs your protection. Clearly. We agreed. Last night changed nothing. What the hell were you thinking? I was thinking when Joe died, there was almost no one left in the world I cared about. And that felt bad. And then I met you. And I felt better. Come on, we gotta change a tire. <laughs> and that's what he gets for failing my ass in English lit. <laughs> Look, it's the war criminal. Hey, you're hungry. I'll buy you a meal, man. You know, help out the homeless. This is the guy that I was talking to you about. You know, uh, you and my friend Emmett here, you actually got something in common. Both play college football. Old Emmett here was Georgia State's starting tight end for three years. According to your records, you played one game for Army. What happened, man? You couldn't hack it. They kicked me off. What for? Being too violent. You're interrupting our lunch. Let me ask you something. What kind of man are you? A stupid man? A bitter man? Are you just... An insecure, spoiled rich boy hiding behind daddy's money. It wasn't a rhetorical question. I really want to know what kind of man enjoys intimidating a woman half his size. A woman who, by the way, is beyond intimidation. I think I know what kind of guy you are. You're the kind of guy that knows things. You knew I'd come after you when I saw what you did to Roscoe. You knew I'd see your truck right outside. A work truck whose bed's never had anything in it other than a keg. And you knew I'd come in here and cause a problem that would most likely get me in trouble. But know what you don't know? Mm, what's that? What it feels like when I hit you. Because if you did, you never would have picked up that paint can. Okay. Now let me tell you something about Roscoe Conklin. That little cock tease. <laughs> I never liked you, Dawson. Don't make me prove it. Drop the knife or I drop you, KJ. Son, put it down. This ain't over. Anytime you want to dance. Since the moment this man arrived at Margrave, there's been nothing but violence. And now he's attacked my son? That's it. You get him out of here. Last time I checked, you were my boss. Captain Finley, you're a city boy. So maybe you haven't heard the expression. But if you keep digging for water under the outhouse, you ain't gonna find nothing you can drink. So you stop this nonsense already before someone gets hurt. I, I saw the whole thing. Junior and the boys were just minding their own business when this guy came in and started tearing up the place. Thank you, Earl, for being a good citizen of Margrave. Detective? Roscoe, take Reacher outside. See you soon, Junior.
Come <laughs> on. 